The Virtual Tables program is used to create fictional tables that represent a combination of actual tables. Virtual Tables can be reserved both within Jonas Activity Management and online via Clubhouse Online for dining reservations. In some cases, you will have a reservation with a party size that does not fit on any of your tables. By setting up virtual tables, multiple tables can be assigned the same reservation to create a larger table. When a virtual table is booked, all of its physical component tables are booked as well. Like dining tables, setting up a virtual table requires a preset table type, facility, default turn rate, and dining tables. Before creating a virtual table, you will need to ensure that you enable virtual tables by navigating over to Dining Settings, and within the General tab, enable Allow Virtual Tables, then click Save. From here, you can navigate over to the Virtual Tables program, where you can click the New button to create a new virtual table, or select an existing virtual table to make edits to it. Within the General tab, you'll want to fill in the following fields. Go ahead and enter a description, and it is recommended to use a description that is similar to the format of including the initials for the facility, VT, and the table numbers to help quickly identify the virtual table. For example, as you see on the screen here, we have GR for grill room, VT for virtual table, and table numbers 4 and 5. Then you can assign the applicable table type. In some cases where the virtual table represents a table larger than any physical table in the club's dining facilities, it is advisable that a new table type is created. The example you see here is using an 8-top virtual table table type. Next, select the facility this table will belong to and specify the default turn rate. By default, this field will be set to use table type. However, if this table typically has a different turn rate than the rest of the tables of this type, you can override it to a preset default turn rate. Specify a table number and ensure active is flagged to make sure this virtual table is active. On the right hand side of the screen, you can choose to override the table type settings. If you'd like to set a different number of seats and or covers than defined in the table type. In the table attributes tab, you can assign attributes to this table Examples could include booth, fireplace, window, etc. In the component tables tab, you'll want to go ahead and specify the physical dining tables that will be combined to represent this virtual table. Just make sure to click save to save your changes. Once a virtual table is created and marked as active, it becomes available for use within the associated facility. Complete the same steps to create any additional virtual tables. Virtual tables are displayed differently in the views available within the Dining Reservations program. So let's navigate over to Dining Reservations. While in Time View, virtual tables are only displayed once a specific party size has been defined in the filter section. If the party size is set to all, virtual tables will not display. Also note that the virtual table must have the capacity to accommodate the guest and all associated component tables must be available for the entire duration of the reservation. And the reservation can take place only when all associated component tables are available. This is to ensure that the physical tables are always booked before a virtual table is booked. For table view, Virtual tables will also only appear once a party size has been specified and can be accommodated. In the layout view, virtual tables are displayed as component tables and are identified by the highlight color specified in your dining settings, colors, and virtual table setting. Only one table will be used to represent the virtual table since tables can be components of multiple virtual tables, and it will only be highlighted in the color specified for virtual tables if it cannot accommodate the specified party size on its own. Within the Booking Details screen, the columns under Assigned Table will display the features of a virtual table. An additional column of component tables will display the associated physical tables.
If a virtual table is assigned to a reservation and you click on the Show All Unseated Tables button, you will be unable to assign other tables and will receive a pop-up indicating that you have already assigned a virtual table and cannot assign any other tables to this reservation. To assign other tables, you must first unassign the virtual table.